Harbor Freight Tools, item number 32042. This is the offset box wrench uh, set metric, sizes six millimeter to 22, skips 21. Uh, with a 20% off coupon, this set goes from $15.99 to $12.79. Harbor Freight Tools, any, pretty much any day you can get this. Um, just to go over, this is the, this isn't the polished set. This is the uh, unpolished, more or less expensive set. Comes with a pretty nice holder. Um, we're gonna make a quick comparison. Uh, make sure whenever you purchase Harbor Freight tools and tool sets, go always go through the stack of wrenches or stack of tools. I find there's huge differences in qualities and castings and uh, imperfections, bends in the tool. Um, so make sure you go through and always check the stack of wrenches pick out the best set. Um, it makes a huge difference in the, in the quality tool you'll end up with. Uh, but in any case, this particular set's pretty complete, six millimeter to 22, only skips 21. Um, this is the unfinished, this is not the polished version. Uh, take a look inside uh, the box. It's pretty thin, but this is, I find these are better for getting in tight spaces. I have different sets that have larger, larger offset heads and they're harder to get into. I find when you need an offset head, it's because you're in a tight space um, doing automotive work. So this is the, this wrench is the 14 and 15 millimeter, um, the Harbor Freight Pittsburgh. Now let's make a comparison to, which is the Great Neck. This is a, I believe a Walmart brand. Uh, it's either Walmart or, I believe it's Walmart. Um, any case, this, this great neck is a little bit thicker, a little bit heavier, a little better polishing, a little better finish. Um, this is a little bit polished tool. Teeth, you can kind of see teeth differences, head differences. And like I said, the some of these other wrenches offsets, so I'll have a larger, thicker head, which is you know a stronger tool, but I find that when I usually need an offset, it's a very tight space. So gender, generally, I prefer the smaller, uh, narrower offset heads, even though they have a little bit weaker wrenches. Um, we'll show the, uh, this is the AutoZone Duralast polished wrench. Um, let's go with 15. This is the comparison of the two 15 millimeters. You can see the inside. Just looking roughly pretty similar. Like I said, the, uh, the polish, the fit, and the finish on the Duralast, obviously, this polished tool is a little bit better. AutoZone does offer these polished like this, and I'm sure they're probably pretty much the same manufacturer. Um, but in any case, you can see the thickness of the wrench. The, in this particular case, the, the Harbor Freight unpolished one is a little bit thicker, uh, but a lot more imperfections in the wrench itself, in the shaft of the wrench. Uh, lengthwise, this particular set, the, um, the Harbor Freight is a little bit longer than the Dura Last. It's another 15, 14 millimeters. This is a generic Chinese set, as they all are. Oh, no, it's Great Neck. It's a Great Neck Chinese set, as they all are. Uh, here's the 15 millimeter. You can see inside differences in the, in the tool and the bite. This one says, this smaller one from this great neck has a lot more use. I've used it for quite a while. I find they held up, they're pretty good. You can tell when they're starting to flex, um, you know, how much torque you need or not, need not put on them. When they start to flex a little bit, obviously you're not gonna go, don't, don't fail them. Um, but uh, they give you a pretty good indication before you start to go into a, a permanent deformation of the tool. But in any case, these are pretty good set, um, I think for the money. Um, pretty decent little tools. Like I said, go through the stack, check, make sure for any kind of uh, imperfections and castings. This particular set, I went through the entire stack. They had about four or five of these sets of wrenches. I went through and selected the best of the best. Um, so this is this is about as good as it gets for these for this particular set of wrenches. Um, 
once again, you can open these cases without damaging the packaging by spreading, spreading the top up there, either bending this piece and you can pop it out of the hinge and then you can get the cover off without undoing the lock on the other side. So if you want to take a look and pick the best wrench, it's easy to do. So let's go and check links, links of the wrenches. This starts with the, uh, what is this, the 20, 2022 wrench is about 11 and eleven five eighths or so. Eleven and about eleven and five eighths. You can see the wrench the measurement. Eleven and five eighths on the largest, down to the smallest. You're about six and three quarters on the smallest wrench. Um, Pretty good size set of wrenches. Decent for the use. Like I said, narrow heads are nice. Um, goes up to 20, 20, 22 millimeters. Like you said, you get little indentations, little imperfections in some of these wrenches. A little bit of straightness issues. You can kind of see here, a little bit of a straightness. Uh, another little bend, nothing. But this was, honestly, this was the best out of four or five sets, I think, on the, shat, on the rack. So always go through the rack, check your tools. Check your, check your fit, your finish, check the, the bite inside, make sure there aren't any major defects because you will see some pretty major casting or forging flaws in these tools and the, and the porosity, the metal, um, and the finish for sure, nicks and all that kind of thing. So always take a good look, take a close look, bite of the tools. Stampings, it's always nice to have good clear stamping so you can read them. Um, Harbor Freight tools. Offset box wrench, metric set, $15.99, $12.79 with a 20% off coupon, available pretty much any day. Um, six to six millimeter and 22, skips to 21. Um, good little set of wrenches. Can't beat them. Lifetime warranty as well.